DraftKings presents the starting five live from the compound. Y'all working with y'all been working with Kiss, you know, for a minute on music. What makes y'all even is y'all have something special? Like, and I don't think a lot of people ever got to see all of us or so y'all two together with a music aspect of working together from an MC to a production <coughs> duo. What makes that so special for y'all? I think for me with them, I met them through music, like mm -hmm. in before ever working with them, hearing them work with Davies, hearing their production, you know what I mean? And just like, yo, they super dope, which you say about a lot of producers, but once you actually meet them, sometimes that don't go right, something in yeah. the energy y'all might not make, might not make y'all click. Energies click, yeah. but they like super humble, cool guys. Besides making dope production, they they got good energy, like, you know what I mean? I mean, Grand's is super laid back. You know, you, you love a laid back person more than somebody that talks too talk much. Buddha, Buddha, me and Buddha do a lot of things in common. We love sneakers, yep, yep. you know what I mean? So it makes making the music easier. And I feel like what made it even special, um, Part of our introduction was was Ice Pick, man. Rest in peace to the yeah. legend. Yeah. yeah, today's his birthday, actually. Wow, wow. God um, bless. Happy you know birthday, I mean? Pick. His birthday in the Pick. physical. And we do a we do we we do something here where we say bet on yourself. Mm -hmm. And before I I ask y'all that, y'all actually helped me bet on myself with losing Pick, mm -hmm. and having to make the album and not know what direction and not using really the infrastructure from Dev Jam and like saying, yo, I'm gonna do it with Border and Grands Day, gonna do the majority of the album. Um, we're gonna make it real musical. We're gonna use live instruments and live. So Instrumentation. Yeah. that was my, I bet on myself. What y'all helped me. Y'all helped me. Y'all helped, thank you. Y'all helped the, the, yeah. the we, wagers. We you appreciate know what the I mean? opportunity, and that, man. That's a Hell beautiful yeah. thing. We made um, a classic. Thank you. Yo, mm -hmm. we, we got, got this, we got this. What's so special about the, wow. this project wow. is it was about the release right before the pandemic. Um, I never got to perform one record or I that never was... did a show for it. Wow. And I don't feel bad. Like I don't make, I still feel satisfied with the cover. Thanks to Free a moment. and the artist BK, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, thanks to, for y'all helping me and everybody else that helped out, Poobs, you know, mm -hmm. Steve-O, everybody involved, Dazel. Styles, it was a Luke, time, man. all the yeah. featured guests on here, but um, it's like a sentimental. I take it as like a, even though it didn't meet the expectations or get the get released properly due to the pandemic, it's still one of my most special albums. I say, you know what I mean? Agree. Wow. It was one of Thank our you. like highest moments in our careers to even get the call to be able to work with you at that capacity was a dream come true. Definitely. And what's crazy, it, it ties more back to pick because a couple years prior when, when you allowed us to work on your classic top five DOA, mm -hmm. um, we produced Ain't Nothing New, no doubt. Neo Nipsey. and Nipsey, Nipsey. 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 rest in peace. Neo and Nipsey, rest in peace Nips. And the opportunity, we, we knew that was one of Pick's favorite records on the album. Facts. But also, that was my mom's last record that she loved on earth. Like, that's the last record wow. before she passed that we created and she was so excited that we even got the opportunity yeah. to be on that album mm -hmm. and the rollout for the album, everything was on ESPN. Yeah, she man. was able to see that and it was a special moment for me and for Grands as well. And, oh, yeah. and even me, you know, I remember Steve-O called me and was like, yo, we gotta figure out this album for Kiss and he was like, yo, I need this art, I gotta figure it out and I remember, you know, Kiss is a type, he just wanted he want to do his part when and let everybody else handle it, right. and he was like, "You know what you got to do." He was like, "Leave me alone, mm -hmm. get it done." And like, it was like really no. And pick, you know, pick had a vision even for for me and Kiss, mm -hmm. and like it was important to tell this story. Like, I wanted it not just to be art, but when somebody looked at it, you you understood how much pick meant to his career, the journey, and the family, and then the music even embodied the cover of how it looked. It was just, and like I said, how things happen in Triangles and Trinity, like Kisses mm -hmm. at the helm, and y'all was the music, and like to, to be able to art direct, and shout out to BK for bringing the vision to life, to be able to now look at it like, as the, even the triangle and the whole, as goose bumped out under the Balenciaga hoodie right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like feeling like Chilly Willie the Penguin. 
But um, <laughs> you know, shouts out to Pick, man. Yeah, man. Happy it, birthday, my happy brother. Birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Pick. But um, thank you for bringing us together, man. Yeah, thank you, Pick. Yeah, nah, it's a fact. Um, woo. 